Hello, everybody. Hi, I'm here with uh, health expert Jasper Bellamer, and I'm just curious about some personal eating practices. Jasper, what are some places you look to find out information about food and beverages? Well, the pantry or the refrigerator, for one. Oh, could you give me an example? Don't mind my dog. So in the kitchen, I will look at a can of cream of bacon. Get out of here, man. A can of cream of bacon, product of USA. Ben. Oh, okay, so it's a product of USA. Mm-hmm. How's it get here? Well, it's shipped off in a boat or something. Or a plane or something like that. Okay, so where would I find information on there? Right here on the nutrition facts. Oh, well, what kind of information does it give us? The, the amount of sugar, the protein, the fiber, the cholesterol, the sodium, carbohydrates, and calories. And also fat. And so, vitamins, too. Oh, wow. So what would happen if I was like, hmm, I'd sure like to know about these things, but I don't have a can of soup or I don't have a, some food and all I have is like, where would I look online to find something like this? Well, fluff up. You may, you may turn. Oh, you got a sticker stuck to your butt there, my son. There you go. <laughs> Jasper Bellamer. <laughs> Just making sure that's you. <laughs> so how would you know these were reliable sources of information? Well, there is a website that confirms it. Oops. Ah! Yeah. No, I hit my arrow. And it's not TripAdvisor. <laughs> so what is it? It's the Government of Canada, Canada's Food Guide. Oh, so this is somewhere I can go to find out about all the food? Mm-hmm. So what kind of things would it tell me about, the, like what you were just showing me? Does, does it share any information about those food labels? Well, it shows you how to use them and all sorts of stuff like that, but yeah. So what does the Canadian Food Guide tell us about, not guide, it's not a guy, it's a guide. What do they tell us about um, what we should eat? Do they share that information on here? Yes. Oh, so can you give me some examples of what I should eat in a day? Protein, whole grain, and vegetables and fruits. I don't see any cake on there. You should also eat cake. <laughs> Just not every day for every meal, right? Mm-mm. So. Yeah. What what benefit is it to have all of these um, different different types of food together? It would create a well what diet. Um, made. Well made, and think about if you're think of the word I'm looking for. Uh, what is it that you need to have that's good when you're skateboarding? Mm-hmm. Good what? Or downhill skiing. Starts with a B. Balance? Yeah, good job. So you'd want to have a good balanced diet, right? And notice how everything is, it's colored. So you Mm -hmm. want to have like, kind of think of the rainbow when you go to eat. Mm -hmm. So what kind of, what would be the best thing that you should drink during the day? Um, water or plain sparkling water. Good choice. Is that what you would drink all day? Mm. If it was always your choice, would you choose water? Probably not. (laughs) (laughs) But you do choose it because you know it's best, right? Mm, If I didn't have to, I wouldn't. Well, your mom hopes that when you get out on your own, you will still make these good choices. And look, even if your mom isn't here... You can always consult this, right? Yes. This is for everybody. You could share this with your friends about how to make good, healthy eating choices. So is there really any excuses for not knowing how to eat healthy? Hmm. If you've got the internet, 
you can learn how to eat healthy, right? Even if there's no one to tell you. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Is, is there anything else you'd like to share about um, information about food and beverages? No. or No? Healthy eating? Nope. Well, thanks for sharing, Jasper.